camera on? Yeah. <laughs> As Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet, listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things, but only one thing is needed. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. So Martha was so caught up in the to-dos and tasks to prepare for Jesus coming over that she forgot Jesus. But Mary was more interested in Jesus himself and pursuing that relationship. Jesus wants our hearts. Santa Claus, a shopping list, wrapping presents, baking cookies, and hosting parties. This is what most of us have minimized Christmas to. We think about all the things of Christmas that we leave after this important present of all. We forget that God so loved the world that he sent his one and only son to die for us, so we wouldn't perish and have eternal life. Is there any other king you know of who would leave us their throne for us, sinners, to be betrayed and crucified? See, our lists are like Martha, who saw after the same power of God and preparing for him. But knowing that Jesus is the true meaning of Christmas is like Mary, who saw after the heart of God and had, and had to pursue a relationship with him. And she just said yes to him. So today, are you going to be like Mary or are you going to be like Martha? Um, let's pray. Dear God, I thank you so much for this day and I just thank you for this, um, to celebrate you being born. And I just pray that um, we be like more like Mary who pursue a relationship with you. Amen. Amen. Amen.